Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts Fire 4 Kaiserreich as the KMT. Let's continue on for the last time off. So, we have beaten the Western Powers. We are officially at peace, but that's not going to last very long because we are going to go to war with my clique in roughly a month-ish. Integrate concessions, integrate Yunnan. Let's integrate Yunnan. Integrate you. The concessions I'm not as concerned with. I'm getting them under control for obvious reasons that they... Well, you don't have that many people living in them. I mean, you guys are... No, Shanghai is already a core of ours. Yeah, I mean, there's there's a couple th hundred thousand, but in the grand scheme of things, it's not really a big deal. Yeah, we are still in personal mobilization. We can't go to war economy. We can't go to total mobilization. Total mobilization would actually be pretty good for us, because, again, we are China. We have so much manpower um, that we, do we don't need 40 million men, right? Like, I can't even th begin to think what you'd even do with 40 million troops. We'll get this done. Uh, we will establish our own independence. We also have not actually chosen a capital yet. Maybe that would be a good idea. It's 56 days. 56 days to choose a capital, which is absolutely wild. I mean, we get a claim on Sawang. Which we don't have, but Tibet has a claim there. I mean, like, we could go to war with the Harley Commune, but they're already very, very close to death. And there's no way... Well, we get a claim, cross the Macmon line. I don't think we... I, I think it's okay ignoring this. We can form our own faction. Anything else up here? You're just like military stuff that I don't really care about it. We already own Ty uh, Taiwan, so we don't need to worry about you. And apparently we're not 75% of the strength. Oh, Navy ratio. Okay, yeah, like the Navy ratio is never going to happen. Infrastructure, Navy reconstruction. I mean, taking a capital would be nice. But let's form the faction first. We could also just go to work East Turkestan right away, but I see no reason to actually do that right away. It seems more of a waste than anything else. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the Austrians are now starting to definitely push the Italians back. So yeah, the Internationale, it's basically game over for them. I have a feeling that Britain will probably end up surviving, just being a, uh... Like a little, uh, island of uh, socialism, essentially. Yeah, but I have a feeling the second piece of honor is definitely going to be firing between Germany. Okay, we got our last research upgrade. Let us afterwards... We'll go for my military police, because that'll help us in a couple of our garrisons. Assuming, again, yeah, local police force. I mean, might as well just go civilian oversight. I don't really care about the manpower or the equipment that much. Yeah, so you'll ignore you for the moment. Let's integrate more northern territories. Yeah, because you're now core. You're not core. You not need to be core soon. And then there's good old Japan. I mean, they're social democratic. They, they definitely won't join an alliance with us for what I would imagine are fairly obvious reasons why they would probably we wouldn't be on the best of terms. But, I mean, Germany's doing pretty well against the Philippines. Japan has evaded some German possessions. But Japan is not going to peace out until Germany's Asia has capitulated. And they're also at war with the Entente still. Um, and I have no idea when that will ever end. Or, actually, how does it end? Maybe if Australia and New Zealand are dead, they will, they'll peace out? I'm trying to remember from our Japanese campaign that we, we last did, but I, I couldn't tell you. Off the top of my head. Okay, yeah, the CSA are doing pretty, pretty well. Liberia has apparently been annexed into the Canadian army or into the Canadian nation. It's like we could send volunteers here, but I see no reason, not, uh, no reason to. But I could set up some guns. You know what? Yeah, let's give them like like have uh five thousand gun CSA. You can absolutely take that because I don't really need it. I think. So it's completely okay being in your hands. We do see that Mackley has now put troops on our border, but again, they are still at war with Mongolia, so... 
I mean, I think we'll, we'll basically, like, steamroll them. I, I think. I, I'm not super concerned. They don't... We actually like them, surprisingly. Why do I like you? Improve relations. Well, that's not going to be lasting very long. And then Red Army is all the way to the north. We'll have you attack. I don't know when that'll actually ever be uh, useful. And then you are going to be done tomorrow. Which means that we can now invade our way into Maklik. We don't have any al- I guess, no, we do- Yeah, we have Tibet. Call Tibet into the war. Welcome. Welcome into the, uh, the war. So I need one of you to immediately go towards our capital. I don't know how Maklik- I mean, they're not even really even close to being killed. Oh yeah, we have Korea as well. I honestly forgot we even had Korea as an ally. You're going to move your way into this city. And that is a Maklik territory. Move your way up towards the north. One of you should go take this city. I think that is a supply hub, so we definitely want to take it. And Moscow is now fallen. I mean, we'll see if... Um, if Russia will just surrender. I don't know if they will... We need to own Dua. Which is... I'm assuming the capital here? No. Are you the cap? No, we need Okay, we need to actually own all of uh, China to go to war with the Russians. But I think we definitely will do that at some point. I'm gonna take your capital. And I think my clique at this point is basically already dead. So... Seems pretty good to me. Let's take their new capital. After that, what even will there be their next capital city? I guess maybe all the way over there? I mean, we'll try marching towards it. You are five victory points. You're a... Mongolian city, but we'll still take it over. And we now have units to deploy. Excellent. Uh, let's just deploy you in Beijing for now. Okay, we've got 25. So I'm going to send one of you over to yellow. The rest of you we're going to sign under a new army. Um, where am I going to put you is a great question. Right now, I'm going to put you on the border with Indochina. Even though I think Indochina, Indochina, I'm sure, is probably one of the countries that absolutely can join our faction. My cleats at 21% exactly. Okay, let's take over some more territory. Give me all of your land. And they're now dead. Okay. So, yeah, you're all my territory. Mongolia, Mongolia getting to exist right now is what they get, okay? Even then, I feel like I should take this city because I own the uh, area, but I'll be nice for now. Okay, yellow army, your job is prepare a war against you. And then blue army, you're going to prepare a war against Mongolia. We have 40 political power to get you done. We have, we can offer them autonomy now. I mean, Mongolia, I would say that it's probably in your best interest to just surrender while the getting's good. Thank you for the 10 anti-tank guns. Do I need, wait, do I need anti-tank guns? Yes. I don't want two rows of you. I just need one. And for you, we'll go with, uh, yeah, two in total seems okay. And we have so many troops over here and in China. Not really doing anything. But at the same time, also, like, what really could they do? Are you even connected to capital? Kind of in a very roundabout way. But I feel like there's probably a better way to get this done. Let's connect you to there. Push that to the top of the list. And how far is our furthest? We got one here. Okay, that's actually, that's not so bad. Set up to motorize divisions. But here's the question. Do we want to invade Turkestan first, or do we want to try to negotiate with Mongolia first? My gut says we want to probably invade Turkestan first, and it'll be a little bit harder for us to actually kill. Okay, Prince of Federation is now dead. Or, no, Barley Commune is now dead. 
My question, if I do this... Yeah, no, we just attack uh, the Princely Federation instead. But you know, it makes sense. I like how this cannot, can declare war against them. Okay, so you actually couldn't do Mission Red India anyways. But this will be our alliance formed. And the, at the same day, the Philippines collapse. Good for them. The Syndicalists have won in the Greek elections. Liberate South Asia. We'll worry about that afterwards. I might, we might as well choose the capital now. And there we go. We are now the East Asia National League. Anyone we can invite? Can we invite? We can invite China for 10 uh, political power. And, no, first things first, I want to secure the frontier here. I mean, the commune's basically dead. Bulgaria and Greece are now at peace. But Bulgaria is for sure very much going to die in a moment. So one more artillery. And then after this... Might as well crank you up like that, and then I'm going to cancel you. I think that's basically the same. Yeah, coming to France. You know, thank you for what you've done to help me secure my independence. Uh, but right now, you are very much going to die, and there's really nothing I can do to stop that. So our next election is going to be in July of 1945. I'm assuming the election is also just going to be between the Mensheng and the Minquan. I mean, that makes the most amount of sense to me. Again, yellow armor, you'll attack immediately. Blue armor, you'll also attack immediately. Indochina, will you join my faction? You should. I, there's, I mean, we're not at war, so it's not like there's uh, anyone you'll be drawn into war against. And we have good relations, like 200-200 relations. We love each other. Not aggression pact, improve relations. Friendship plus 200. Like, we both really like each other, okay? So you should say yes. Uh, let's go for signal companies next on you. Okay, so two more days until they have either agreed or declined. Same with the war against Turkestan. And it's going to take us a little while. Why are we improving? We're still improving relations with you? It's not improving relations. This causing us 0.2 political power. Okay, so the war here has now begun. We'll take over this land. Hey, Indochina! You want to be part of my faction or not? You should get in while the getting's good. Again, you like us a lot. 200, you know, you, you don't get 200 relations by... Hey, there we go. Thank you. So the alliance has now spread. You'd love to see it. Anyone else can join? Seems like the answer, at least for the moment, is no. But again, there's also like nobody else that's um nobody else that's syndicalist or socialist in Asia right now. Like I'm assuming maybe the Bahari Commune could have joined at some point. Maybe socialist Philippines as well, but I, I we won't know because they have uh, they lost their war, obviously. In Indochina, there's no reason for you to get called into this war. So you can just kind of hang out, do what you want. Apparently they had a national revolution. Wait, no. Wait, so they went nationalist at some point? And I'm guessing there, there must have been like a counter coup then. Huh, okay. I didn't even know that was actually a possibility there. I want you moving your way through here. I know supplies in this area are complete ass. Do we have any aircraft that can fly over here? No, even, even there you actually wouldn't be able to fly far enough. But I can still send you over Mongolia. And then you can fly over here. Yeah, don't be assigned to an army right now. Not necessary. So, Siam, you do have some Indo-Chinese cores. You are guaranteed by the Japanese. You might end up joining a faction, I can't really tell yet. 
What do I do with you guys now? I mean... I guess I'm gonna move them up towards Beijing. And... Probably prepare for a war against the Russians, if anything. Also, let's, for, let's offer the autonomy to Mongolia. If they say no, I will just invade them, and that makes my life easy as well. I'm okay doing either, Mongolia. I'm okay doing either. Okay, they have refused autonomy, which means I can then attack them. It's also going to be another 40 political power. Why make things cheap on me? But, you know, it's okay. So, okay, question. Do you have any supply depots over here? I think the answer legitimately might be no. Again, we want you moving here. Move on to the capital. I also don't even think that uh, Turkestan has any units of their own. Or any supplies of their own to actually fight us either. Okay, I do think that blue line might be too long though. Let's shrink you here. You know what, brown army? There we go. I have, a, I have an idea for you. You can go right here and spearhead towards your capital. Seems like that makes sense to me. And keep moving over here. Our invasions are going well. Turkestan is about halfway dead right now. Yeah, we're really just like marching towards our capital, right? Like, I mean, there's nothing else really here for us to even take. So once your capital has fallen, we should be more or less good to go. And yeah, we need a little bit more political power. We, we should get that done not too long, honestly. What about Bhutan? Bhutan, Nepal... Not really part of any faction, unfortunately. Or they also won't join our faction, of course. Yeah, we got better guns. How many rifles do we have in storage? 50,000? Okay, we can definitely uh, upgrade you. And the CSA, yeah, is definitely gonna win their war sooner rather than later. We can choose a capital in about 10 more days. So in 10 days, we'll have a beautiful new capital. I'm guessing it's going to be, hey, do you want to keep it in Nanjing or if you want to keep it in Beijing or move to Beijing? I mean, well, probably. Let me see. I mean, Nanjing, our capital. I mean, I guess we'll move it to Beijing just for more national legitimacy. Because right now, what is our, our support amongst the population? Land use tax. I know we're high. We have high popular support. People, the people love us, as they should. Yeah, again, supplies here are absolutely rubbish. But really, no, nothing else we can do about that. So we got 14 more days. Go to war Mongolia. They shouldn't be in a, uh, a great position due to if you remember how they were doing against Maklik. If they had to fight us, it's going to be substantially worse for them. Uh, no doubt about that. We have a research slot. Um, let's go for. Oh, we didn't have we didn't have the base naval invasion tech. Okay, not that I'm sure. We, I don't think we'll actually need it, but just in case we need it, I will take it. Okay, choose the Republican capital, and after this, I mean, do you even do anything at this point? You're already in my faction. Okay, military coordination committee. We could invade you, which actually will get us back at war with the Japanese. Let's just see what's in Liberate Asia. And then after we've killed you and we have taken over Mongolia, we can then push a war against the Russians. I mean, Russia... I mean, they're already... They're losing against the Reich's Pact. They won't be able to withstand us, I'm sure. But I do think, at least for the time being, that this is going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So thank you for watching. Thanks for if you enjoyed. Or a thumbs up. Now, do a click thumbs down. If you want to see more, subscribe and goodbye.